UCLA, nobody's talking about the Bruins. Nobody. Everybody's talking about SC. Everybody's talking about Utah. Everybody's talking about Oregon. Everybody's talking about Washington. Do not sleep on the UCLA Bruins. Now, are they going to be able to replicate the success they had running the football last year? I cannot tell you that without a shadow of a doubt. Zach Charbonnet is great, but hey, guess what? In comes Carson Steele, a guy that's had a lot of success in the past playing in the MAC. So he's played high-level football before. He's seen quality competition before. Will he be able to continue on? They also lose Dorian Thompson-Robinson. Now, he was up and down from time to time as a starting quarterback, but these last couple of years, things really started to move in the right direction. Made good decisions, did a pretty good job of kind of hanging in the balance. Now it's really going to be about, can they adequately replace his productivity with Colin Schley, the transfer, or will it be the true freshman Dante Moore. I'm not sure anybody at this point knows exactly what's going on, but either way, you're looking at a team that is going to be able to run the football. Now, you look at the guys that are back, a ton of pieces. They also went out, did some good things in the portal, already referenced Carson Steele, already met, uh, referenced Colin Schley, but don't forget about J. Michael Sturdivant as well. This guy is some serious length on the perimeter, and they found some success with the tall wide receivers in the past. One thing I'm concerned about is offensive line. That's been a position of significant strength for UCLA the last couple of years, had tremendous continuity last year and the year before. Will they be able to adequately replace some of those pieces with transfer guys? Spencer Holstage from Purdue. You also have uh, Kadre Kuta from ODU. But you have the center back, which helps a lot when you're using tempo and you're running kind of a complex scheme. Duke Clemens is back at center. That should help. An awful lot. Now, defense for UCLA, Ben, don't break, man. Not really that dissimilar than what we've talked about already for the last couple minutes. A bunch of guys that are really, really solid, but certainly unspectacular. That is okay. They were the only team in the FBS not to give up a single play over 50 yards. They don't give up big plays, but then again, they ranked 110th nationally and allowing gains of 10 plus yards. Okay. So they got to do a better job, maybe not allowing the home run, but they got to kind of limit some of the opportunities there along the front. They've kind of mixed up what they're doing defensively. Danton Lynn, now the new defensive coordinator, he's from the Baltimore Ravens. He's 33 years old, comes from a coaching family, and I think will have an opportunity to take advantage with some of the guys that they have. Now, Liatu Latu is great. The Murphy twins, both Grayson and Gabriel, they're great. And then you, of course, have the transfer from Bowling Green. That's Jordan Anderson as well. So I think UCLA, pretty good pieces on both sides of the ball. The one question mark being the offensive line. But with the scheme they run, I think that group has a chance to still be very good.